Well, finally tonight, after copping it from university students for the last two weeks, Joe Hockey might have finally met his match with a new student protester. Joe Hockey. Footage has been found of the then 22-year-old arts law student and strangled Luca Brazzi protesting against the introduction of a $250 upfront charge planned by the Hawke government in 1987. And Junior Hockey's message was clear. We will continue to go out onto the streets and to protest and actively encourage the public to support us in our campaign for free education. OK, to be fair to Joe Hockey, they were very different times. Back in 1987, he would have been the one to have to pay that fee. And that's why in the University of Sydney's newspaper, Oni Swa, Hockey the Younger also criticised the Liberal Party for proposing the exact same university deregulation measure his government is now attempting. The Liberal Party promised to cut back funds to universities and at the same time leave the universities to charge whatever fee they wished. Such a policy is suicidal for student welfare. But now we have a case where now hockey has become exactly what then hockey hated. So what the hell happened? Tom, back in his uni days, the protesting Joe Hockey would have been as popular with students as a hacky sack. He was Joe Hacky, but now he's as disliked as an old Hessian sack like Joe Sackey. But while it looks like inconsistency, all this time Joe Hockey has stayed true to the fundamental question that drives Joe Hockey. What's the best for Joe Hockey? Back then, he needed money. He was the underdog. He was Joe Rocky. But now he's treasurer and he wants to keep all our money, so he's cut funding to everything. He's Joe Choppy. Yeah, but isn't it unfair that Hockey thought a $250 admin fee was unacceptable for him, but he's happy to see some of the degrees rising to as high as $120,000 for future students? Well, maybe, but things are different for Hockey now. He's already been to university. He's not going back, so he won't need to pay those giant new fees. Ain't no more cheap two-minute noodles for this treasurer. Now, he's Joe Gnocchi. <laughs>